On to race number five then, which is the second leg, obviously, of the Triple Trio. It's a class three we're back into here over the 1650, headed by Noble Steed. Now, his four wins so far all come at Chartin over the 1400 metres. Jolly Honour, on the other hand, is a two-time winner over the trip. David Ferraris, Zhang Bai Chi, one of four he has uh, in the race. Tang Mir is one of two for Casper Fans, also has Lightning Steed on the backup from last week. The other Ferraris runners are Magnetism, ridden by Antoine Hamlin, then Kiram and London, London Lucky Star, close to a class drop under Alex Lai and Alexi Bedell respectively. Now, as far as Chung Ma's concerned, it's Tang Mir for Casper Founds and Blake Shin, who's been uh, north of the border. He's a two-time course and distance winner from last season, Mark. And the speed map, Andrew. No alpha hedge for Lightning Steed to sit outside this week. He should roll to the front over Heavenly Thought. Jolly honour, Tang Mir and Kiram. Cheng Bai Chi, magnetism next to the rally stroll was OK. Smiling City, London Lucky Stars back on the turf again. And Noble Steed, who hasn't got a bad first up record, he's back last ball. First one we're going to have a look at is Heavenly Thought. He came in a really big rating here. He came off a rating of 88 when he arrived, got all the way down to 62. He's back to rating of 69 now. Uh, he did win off that rating of 62. He goes nicely and his work's been pretty good leading into this uh, contest here. Um, Smiling City, he did win a race at the back end of the last season as well. It was a nice uh, win from him and uh, he looks like he hasn't taken a backward step either. So 800 metres uh, was the gallop for this horse, travels nicely. The other one we're going to have a look at is one of the old boys here, which is Kiram. Uh, David Ferraris has got uh, quite a few runners in this race, and Kiram being one of them, he did win fresh up last season, but he is getting on in age now, Kiram. Uh, he's a nine-year-old. All right, OK, yep, four for Ferraris. Uh, we'll have a look at Heavenly Thought, though, first for Frankie Law. This is him. At the trials, uh, Mark. He's first up since the uh, the start of July. Generally pretty consistent, but just the one win to his name. Yeah, he went off a little bit towards the end of last season, Andrew, but it's a nice enough trial from him as he's just being passed here up the straight, but not being knocked around, Paul. He's come up at 7.2 at the moment. He's a horse that's normally somewhere in the market, but his last two runs, he did fade out towards the end of the back end of the season. Yeah, I think the rest has probably came at the right time for him, didn't he? I think he's had that rest, and he seems to have bounced back really nicely. Joe Marrera aboard. So I'll give him an opportunity in this race. He did, as I say, come off a massive rating when he got it. Yeah, Tang, we're here, Paul, up at Chung Fai. Gave him all a bit of a head start, but uh, he picks them up close to home. He does, didn't he? And uh, look, he's, uh, it was a, not a bad run from him. He definitely had a decent workout here. He is a two-time course and distance uh, winner, uh, Tang Mir. And uh, he's, I thought he got well, well enough to warrant a place in the uh, numbers. Far too short for him this trial. It was down the straight 1,000. That's Amazing Kiwi who's in the last beating smoothies. And he's just jogging nicely into third there on a tight rein. It was a really nice Chung Far trial. Mm. His wins did come in class four. This is class three. But uh, either way, smiling city now, Mark. He's another one up in class. He is. His trial was OK. He's over there on the outside. Now, my concern with him, Paul, is his record in class three. He's had seven starts yet to run in the money. Uh, star presence in front in this trial. He's cruised nicely down the outside but has struggled in this grade and it's telling with seven starts. Yeah, he did. Like when he first got here, he was in class three. He got down to class four. He did win at the back end of class four and has gone back up into class three. So he did find a little bit of form towards the end of the season. He didn't sort of show too much when he first arrived. All right, final one we'll have a look at is the second of the Founds runners. That is Lightning Steed. Now, he's favourites um, for this race, but uh, Alpha Hedge, Paul, controlled things uh, for the front, but he's got the, the fitness edge maybe this time. Yeah, definitely. And he does, had, did win on a quick backup last season as well. So with those things, from barrier number one, and he should get a reasonable price now because uh, Joe did ride him and uh, Matthew Chadwick jumps aboard. So, uh, look, I, I've found, definitely found a spot. I haven't dropped off him. Yeah, couldn't leave him out after last week. Alpha Hedge made him sit outside. If he jumps OK, which he normally does, he should be in front. He'll be there for an awful long way. All right, but it's Smiling City, Paul, who's our favourite at this stage. How do you line him up here? Yeah, I haven't got him on top. I've, I've gone with uh, Heavenly Thought, the first one. His work's been good. I think the break came at the right time for him. He's still a well-rated horse at 69, so he's on top to beat uh, Lightning Steed. Uh, Tang Mir, he's run third off a rating of 68 in this grade, and he is rated 67 now, so we'll give him the opportunity. And then Smiling City for fourth. So four, six, five and eight. Tang Mir, he was a little up and down last season, but the trial was good. It was 1,000 metres, 1,650 for his first start this time in. Blake Shin with a really good chance to a break through for the first time this season. If he hasn't run a winner up until race number five, he's on top. Lightning Steed, he's too good to be leaving out. He's got that four next to his name, but a perfect draw. Magnetism has a wonderful first up record. He hasn't won, but he's placed three from six 
and his troll was quite okay. And Zach's back on Jolly Honor, didn't ride him in his last two before that fourth behind Delightful Lau, and he rode the horse to victory off a rating of 69 in March. He's currently rated 72. Five, six, seven, and two. Tangler gets in for me. I'll back up though with uh, Lightning Steeder. Matthew Chadwick has won on this horse uh, in the past. He knows him well off the inside gates. All right, that was class three action. We finish off with a class three in actual fact, thousand metre dash. But next up for us, race number six is a class four.